significance, belonging, and safety, it, it really touches me because it's a good balance of all of those things. All right? And so that, all of that stuff led me to kind of think about some of this stuff as well. And so um, what I want to talk about what is what diversity is not. Yes, sir? Just one question later. Yeah. About you. What, yes, what subject did you teach in high school? I, I taught leadership. Leadership. Right. Yep. I was a leadership teacher. So we did ropes you courses. Did you a no, I, I didn't do yeah, I didn't I didn't do that stuff. So um, so uh, diversity is not political correctness. What is political correctness? Okay. But what does it mean to be politically correct? Fit in with the norm. Fit in with the norm. Follow the rules. Say the right thing. How do I know if, you know, what's the difference between a colored person and a person of color? Right? How do I know if you're black or if you're, oh, by the way, I am black. I just wanted to tell you, just in case. I didn't want to alarm anybody. Right? Um, yes, but is it black or African American? I'll get to that right after this piece right here. Right? So, so political correctness. I'm doing a training. And a woman stands up and she says, Andre, I want to know why all the colored people are moving into my neighborhood. How does the audience respond to that? Were you there? Who, no, who gets, right? no, that's, that's what they did. They said, <gasps> and why'd they go? <gasps> How can you ask a question like that, right? You're not supposed to say that, you know? Um, that's politically incorrect. But as she stood there, I could see that this woman did not have a lot of stamps in her passport. <laughs> it was very clear that she wasn't a, a world traveler. It was very clear that she hadn't had a whole lot of experiences. And so as a facilitator of this process and of this class, what was my responsibility to her question? She asked a question. What's my responsibility? Answer, answer, answer her question. All the political correct stuff we can talk about later. But she had a question that I had to answer. Because I've also been in other situations where people have had the right words, but as they're talking, your skin just crawls, right? Have you ever experienced that? Yeah. So to answer your question, do, you, do I call someone African American? Do I call them black? Do, um, you know, is it, is it Somalian? Is it, you know, American Indian? Or is it Native American? I, I have to tell you something that you'll probably not hear from anybody else. It doesn't matter. What does matter is where that question is coming from. Because there's a difference between calling someone a, a, a boy. Like, hey, what's going on, boy? How you doing? And then there's, what's up, boy? Right? Wherever that is coming from in, in your heart determines the best way that you approach that. And, and, I'm, and, and I don't know any other way to say it, but like you can tell when someone's smiling on the phone. Have you, have you experienced that? Right? You can't see them, but there's something about that interaction that you know what, what's coming out of their heart. And the same is true when we interact with people. I'm clumsy about how to interact with folks because I don't know what to call folks all the time. Mm -hmm. That's less important than knowing that I'm giving people good stuff every time I meet them. And I can't give to people what I don't already have. Right? So we'll talk about that too. Um, diversity is not about black and white. It's not about blame, fault, and guilt. A lot of times uh, white people get caught up in this um, this quagmire of being blamed and, and faulted and guilted for stuff that they had no control over, right? But just like as we drive our cars, the blind spots are not our fault. We didn't build those cars. But those blind spots are our what? Responsibility. And so although we didn't build this world system, we, um, we just live in it. How we live in it and what we choose to make of it is our responsibility no matter what happened in the past, all right? Um, it's also not about therapy. Meritocracy is the concept that if you work hard enough, you can be just like me. And that's not what diversity is about. 
right? Uh, because who says that I have to be or should be the ruler of what is good and right? All right? Uh, and lastly, diversity is not about tolerance. And why do I say that it's not about tolerance? What does tolerance mean? To put up with. Right? My brother-in-law came to visit. I tolerated that dude. Why? I knew when he was leaving. So I could put up with all of these changes and all this stuff because I know at some point it's going to go back to the way it was. Are our communities ever going to be the way they used to be? No. Right? So tolerance is insufficient for what we need to do. Um, and so I want to give you the answer right after uh, a short break. So can we take uh, just a six-minute break, take care of biological needs, walk around a little bit, um, and I'll see you back in six minutes. And